I've spoken to you since the match play, Nathan, and obviously it didn't go to plan for you. Um, um, the only consolation from your defeat is the fact that the bloke who beat you went on to win it. So um, it's not, it wasn't so sore for you. But um, from your point of view, was there a reason for that? Was it, was it part of the, you know, the situation we're in or sort of just getting used to the surroundings again? Or was it just you are beaten by the better bloke? Probably a combination of everything, really. Um, it was the same for all 32 players, but I just really struggled to adapt to the, the surroundings. Gezi was the same as me. Me and him are quite the same type of player where we love the we love the crowd, we love the adrenaline. Um, the louder, the better for us. Mm-hmm. So I did struggle, um, but like you said, he, he was the better player on the night um, and he, he fully deserved to beat me. But... I looked at the bigger picture and I thought, well, this is how the Premier League is going to be. Let's get it right. Let's get prepared, ready for the Premier League to kick off. Try and get used to the surround that possibly can at home. Trying to work on a few little things. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, hopefully now uh, I'll be ready to kick on on Tuesday and uh, kick off where, where we left off in March. Yeah, I mean, that would be... Probably, maybe your biggest worry is the fact that this is going to be how it's going to be. That that situation you're going to have to get used to. But perhaps the, it, or alternatively, the good thing is is that the Premier League you've got it every single night now, and you can you've not just got a knockout. You you've got you know you've got a sustained amount of fixtures to get used to that. As soon as the match play finished, I was you know I was disappointed. But um, you know that's just one tournament to knock out for me. The, the biggest. Um, the biggest thing that I want to do is to finish the Premier League strong and, you know, make that top four. So that was, as soon as that finished, it was done out out my head and preparation began for the Premier League. And I've been playing with a, a young lad called Louis Williams for the last couple of weeks and practice really well, especially yesterday. I, I felt like something clicked yesterday. Um, and, you know, luckily for me, it's only a couple of days away now. And I think I found something yesterday which... Um, which has changed my mind re- uh, recently, and you know, hopefully, I can take that game uh, up to the Premier League on Tuesday. This is another curious change to the Premier League: is the fact that normally you go from week to week. Suddenly, within forty-eight hours, you could either be top of the league or you could be towards the bottom. So you, it's going to be it, it's going to be like that, isn't it? Everyone was talking to me about, obviously, you made the, the next stage. When did the fixtures come out? And I said, well, hang on a minute. You know what I mean? It's very, very dull. Dull is at the bottom by, you know, three or four points behind um, second from bottom. But, you know, we played Dolby. Who, OK, we all know how good Dolby is, but he's, he's a contender. Then he's playing himself. Um, and then he finishes with Peter. So, I think it's Peter. So, he, he, he can go and win all games. One of us could lose all three of them three of our games and all of a sudden we're bottom and he's, he's in top four it's as, as mental as it is at the moment so you know hopefully that doesn't happen um, hopefully I'll just get my beat Kezzy on Tuesday night then I've uh, concreted myself in the next phase Strangely enough you had a, a good lockdown because you won the PDC home tour um are you sort of were you okay going into the match play as someone who was the man in form and you were sort of looking to? Was that a new thing for you or was it not really on your radar? Truth be told, I was playing absolutely horrendous <laughs> going into into the summer series and obviously because I've been playing so much, my practice games kind of uh, is non existent. Uh, um, obviously, like you said, I, I did the home tour, which I was thankful for because if it wasn't for that, I don't think I would have picked them up, um, which. You know, it's my own fault if I get beat, it's my own fault because I'm, I'm being lazy. But I wasn't really prepared for the, the summer series or, or the match play, which again, my fault, you know, um, kind of a kick up the ass that I needed. Got first round, played OK in the summer series, but, you know, I wanted to win a couple of uh, titles a date and come close, really. Um, so, like I say, after the match play, I have been putting the hours in, I've been working hard. The match play, in a in a in a curious way, has given you the kick up the backside you needed. You needed that sort of yeah. that result um, to sort of say, right, I need to get myself sorted out here. I mean, 
it's going to be really important for you to get an early win in, in Milton Keynes, isn't it, down the Premier League, to get, you need that boost again. I'm a guy that thrives off confidence and adrenaline. And um, like I said, yesterday I was practising and I think it was like the third leg at nine and against Louis and the rest of the day I was frightening. Because it, that, even if it's only one leg or one, one kill, it can change your mindset mm-hmm. for, for weeks, if you know what I mean. So um, as soon as Tuesday comes, you know, I've been concentrating so hard just to get that win. Beat Gez, uh, you know, obviously then I'm guaranteed to be in the next next phase of the, the Premier League. And then the confidence I'll take from, from that early win, um, hopefully I can do some serious damage yeah. for the rest of the week. Because if you're playing really well and you're playing every single night, you'll just keep thriving off adrenaline and you keep going and you're playing well. But obviously there's going to be some poor bugger, hope not me, that he's going to really struggle for a week. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not me. Perhaps this is a this is a good omen for you. Gerwin Price seems to be the person who reinvents Nathan Aspinall at different stages, and uh, you've you got a uh, <laughs> he does, yeah. Maybe this is the reinvention of Nathan again. That a, a win over Gerwin uh, will will lift you again. I am still waiting for his commission invoice to come through uh, for the last two years because. <laughs> uh, Obviously, I, I, and I say it to him all the time, I thank him all the time because I think if he hit that bull in the world, so I don't think I'd be sat talking to you now, but uh, he didn't. But yeah, hopefully, like I say, he, he, might, uh, he might bottle it in front of the speakers and let me win. <laughs> For the last two years, you've, you've steadily grown and, um, and become more and more an elite player. Uh, we've had we've had 2020 ripped out from under us all, really, uh, and you, that stopped any sort of continuity and, and perhaps your momentum. Does that worry you at all a little bit that, you know, that ascendancy and you say that belief and that confidence you have and it was building all the time. It's suddenly just gone, boom, gone. And now it's almost like you've got to start from scratch again in a, some, in a funny sort of way. Question not really been asked before, but I have been building up to the the um, summer series I'm so worried because I've kind of gone there to being getting up there playing the best stuff I've ever played in my life and when I was practising it was awful um, I, I don't know where I pulled the home series from I wasn't playing well and I've, I've been really concerned that you know I, I've had my rise and then because of what's happened I'm going to all of a sudden start dropping down and then obviously I got battered off Dimitri first round in a match play so I was like oh god um, but you know yeah I think everyone's been in this ball. Obviously, you look at you look at the match play. It was the most randomest tournament ever. You know, I think there was like I think there was one top eight in the quarters, or something random like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think it was only Mike Smith, wasn't it, in the top eight that that made it through to the quarters. So I think that proved um, to myself that okay, it's not just you. Try and put some hours in and, and, and get ready for for the Premier League. Is that important for you? Maybe this is a, 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 an important lesson for you for, for psychological, mental strength to, to keep that belief when it's not about the darts, it's about Nathan Aspinall as a person. You've got to keep that belief and away from the board if, somehow. For me, it's it's getting off my ass and putting the hours in. It's obviously I, I was a massive I was a massive practicer and I've got to where I am now by putting the hours in. And kind of things I've said to myself over the last six seven weeks is. You've been doing four hours a day. You've got to where you are. Why all of a sudden now are you stopping doing it? It's not broken. So why, why am I trying to fix it? And um, that's kind of been my mentality over the last few weeks. And that's why I've been putting the hours in. I've, I've stopped getting on the golf course. I've, I've, I've walked and I started getting on the board instead. <laughs>